Hey guys, we are back again with another video. So this video, we are going to talk about my pregnancy travel so far, my pregnancy story so far. So, uh, yeah. So what we done is when we got married back in October eight, uh, 19, we didn't really have a plan for getting pregnant. We just kind of thought, yeah, we'll let it happen when it happens. And yeah, thought we'll just let it happen when it happens. And we uh, were actually more planning on traveling. So our plans were, of course, that when we were going to hit June, there was going to be your brother's wedding over in India and we were going to travel there. But what we were going to do is because we we're going to take a bit of time off, we we're going to go to India, we we're going to go to Japan and probably one or two other countries as well. Make a big trip of it, you know, actually explore the world a little bit more. We've even got a map on our wall in our house with like loads of countries and we've circled countries we want to go to and that kind of stuff. So from there to now, like I said, we didn't really do a lot of planning or anything, um, but we did actually manage to have a bit of a pregnancy scare back in January. Now, what happened, of course, is Lisa had a load of symptoms uh, of what we sort of thought, you know, those are symptoms of pregnancy. Um, so I sort of, you know, she sort of says, oh, I'm at the shops in a couple of days. I'll go to the shop and I'll get a test. I said, Fine, whatever, go get a test, see what it says. She went to the shop. Um, she got the test, she brought it back. She did the test and it came back as negative. And we we're like, okay, fair enough. Um, but then she then continued to have the symptoms, went and had a second test and of course, still negative. So I thought, well, are we doing this right? So I asked her, I said, look, can I have the box? Um, I'll read the instructions, make sure that we're doing it right. And of course she gave me the box and written right the way up front across of it, it said ovulation strip. So not a pregnancy test, but an ovulation strip, which is there to decide, of course, if she's ovulating or not. <laughs> so yeah, completely useless. So we then went and at the time I was not driving um, and it was a late evening. So we phoned up her best friend, who's going to be our godmother as well for the child and said to her, by any chance you swing by nearby, we'll buy you some tea and you can come round and can you bring a pregnancy test with you on the way? She did the test, it was negative. Uh, and then of course, between there and uh, March, uh, not really much happened, you know, because we're both very, very busy people. Our work schedules are all over the place. Then obviously, then Corona hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, suddenly then, we had a lot more time for each other. Yeah, time. we were pretty much <laughs> home all the time. Yeah. So I, in April, that's when uh, we actually find out um, that I'm pregnant. Yeah. I still remember the day. I was like, <laughs> I was so freaking out because every time I test it, it doesn't show. It's waiting, waiting. Yeah. But that time it shows it's waiting. I was like, oh, am I really pregnant? I was freaking <laughs> out. I don't know. Chris was like, okay, don't you don't look. Yeah, don't you don't look. look. <laughs> he was like, he was like, just sit on the bed. I'll just make sure everything is okay. He was like back and forth, back and forth, back and <laughs> forth, just checking. And finally, it shows I'm um, pregnant. Three to two weeks. Uh, Two to three weeks <laughs> and I just didn't know what to do and I'm like wow yeah complete yeah. shock to us like yeah. I said we weren't planning it yeah it was a complete shock we just didn't know what to do I was like it would be amazing if we yeah. recorded that but yeah. obviously we are not <laughs> expecting that to no, happen exactly. but it was like oh my god we are going to be a parent and there you go boom um so that's how we found out that I'm pregnant in April and since then, my symptoms are All up and down. Place. Yeah, it's just, and I've been struggling to cope with it. I have a really bad morning sickness. Um, they call it a hyperpermis pregnancy. Yeah. When you have really, really bad morning sickness, and I have to be, uh, I've been in the hospital, I start taking sickness tablet, and I can't keep anything down. I am always tired. And what's dizzy. it done to what you like to eat? <laughs> oh. India, Indian food is my favorite, but I just can't eat anymore. But I will say, <laughs> past two weeks, I'm kind of getting back to it. Yeah. I'm start kind of eating quite a lot of. I wouldn't say quite a lot of Indian food, but, but more Indian food. More Indian, comparing to how I'm doing two but months ago. Before that, you couldn't look at, you couldn't smell or see Indian food yeah. because the morning sickness was kicking, and obviously, what happens? And, but the great thing is, is all she could really eat was English food or Italian food, you know, like proper British food. So pizzas, burgers, chips, potatoes, all those fish. kind of things. Fish, yeah. Yeah. But not Indian fish, but English fish. <laughs> it, it's weird how my body yeah. acted. 
when I got pregnant. I was like, I can't even go to my Indian cabinet. I have a cabinet where I keep all my masalas and I just <laughs> can't stand. I can't even open my fridge. I'm like, you know, I'm feeling sick. I just can't eat anything. Even the plenty water just literally yeah. doesn't stay in my belly. It's just, uh, <laughs> just come out. It's not, not, not very nice. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's my symptoms so far. But um. Um, I will say, touch wood, I am getting over a little by little. Yeah. I still have sickness and all kind of stuff, but it's not bad as it was. Yeah, it's because you're entering the second trimester now. Yes, now I'm in second yeah. trimester. The today. symptoms have slowed down a lot. Because they, they say that when you hit the second trimester, things get better with symptoms. Yes, that's what they say. Yeah. So hopefully it will ease it down and I can eat more food. <laughs> Literally, without throwing up. I can't wait for that. But... So yeah, and that's that's it for today. And hope you guys enjoy my nice plays and views where we are at now. <laughs> so we will guys see you next time and stay tuned and I will post a lot of pregnancy update and my cravings, all kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.